specifically and to choose the best photos for your reference okay for your drawing skills if i'm actually right uh if you guys were basically a new student a first semester student like drawing classes or or, or introduction to illustration classes right okay i will give you guys those samples right okay, because it will guide you to develop a bit more understanding from based on what i chose all right that's basically the things happens right now there, okay because you actually have seen it okay you know basically exactly what you need to develop that kind of skills so one of the most important thing is by using one of the single brushes that you should actually apply on your exercise for these weeks i want to see how well basically you control the pressures how actually you control the structures how you control the flows and your quality of line when you draw them okay that's the thing that really i want to see from there all right um before i'm going to demonstrate right here okay, you at, can you actually share your screen and give me some of the sample of your photos that you can actually demonstrate for us how you actually execute that kind of drawing skill using the exercise over here. can you do it for us direct are you at? okay share your screen there first you want to see how well basically you guys have been working on it there right first. okay Please share your screen there, Kayot. Because when you say the okay, uh, most of you guys, sorry, uh, so now I haven't had the photos there. Please choose the photos there right now, right? Any kind of photos there first, right? It doesn't have to be confirmed first, right? I want to see how well you control your pressures when you draw that. That's all. Okay. You can change another photos later on. I want to see how you draw using those tablets there. Okay, Kayot. Okay, thank you, Directly. Any one of you guys who haven't got any tablets yet? Or drawing tablets, drawing device, okay, for our exercise. Anyone? How many of you guys who haven't got this tablet yet? Three, four. So how actually you work with those exercises there before this? All right, 14 of you guys over here. Okay, Jashwan is here. Jashwan. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Okay, Suyong is here. Ang Suyong. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, all of you guys are here. Thank you very much for the attendance, guys. Okay, how many of you guys over here? One, two. Around six to six people there, right? One, two. How many? We don't have those tablet yet, right? So the rest of you guys have that right. Good. So Tayyad, do you prepare directly for your drawing skills there? To demonstrate? Any one of you guys? Just be prepared, okay? I'm going to call name randomly there, right? Okay? It works on that. Okay? So please find it okay as soon as possible that you at the Any Anyone want to demonstrate 
to show me some of the obstacle challenging that you have when you want to draw using those tablets there. Can you demonstrate for, can you actually create this kind of drawing in there first? And then you can share with us later on. Okay? During our sessions over here in our groups there, I want to see how we draw them there, right? Okay? Right here. Using your iPad and also procreate them, right? I want to see some of the results from your drawings over here. Anyone want to volunteer right here? Before I'm going to continue, basically my kind of, okay, what are the things that you don't understand about this exercise? Let me know there, right? Do you have any questions or inquiries there on this exercise over here? All right, because you were basically a final student, a final year student in graphic design, there, right? Okay? You are going to do a little bit kind of advanced kind of methods there. Yeah, especially when it comes to drawing skills, okay? The things that you should not do when it comes to develop that kind of drawing skill using the tablets right here, right? One of the things that you have to remember there right here when you want to draw them, first of all, even though when it comes to this kind of methods there, right here, you draw on top of the layers there, right? It doesn't mean that looks easy there, guys, okay? A lot of students, who thought they can do it well and they thought basically this is only a tracing but basically it's not okay basically it's not the right we actually applying back again our drawing techniques in this exercise there and one of the reason why i gave this exercise to the students because i want to see whether they can actually develop their drawing skills using using basically these methods there. Can you see there, right? How to draw those, uh, change the size over here. Okay, frequently, okay, when I actually right, want to uh, develop basically these kind of strokes. All right. We are not tracing them there, right? Okay? We are drawing on top of it. Tracing is look like this. Okay, this is tracing the guy. Okay, this is tracing there. Sometimes people draw like this one there, right? Okay, this is tracing there, right? Okay. Remember that. When I come to draw there, right? Okay, can you see how actually I draw them, right? How actually I repeat the line over here slowly when I draw. This is what we call drawing there, right? See? Even though when I want to draw traditionally directly, I'm going to use the same methods to control the pressures when I draw them right. Uh, that's the difference between tracing and drawing here. Remember that, right? We only use these this technologies to, to execute and imitate the drawings Styles there that we are going to produce right here, okay, for our exercise there. I'm a giant, am I am I increasing the size over here and rolling the shadings there, okay, okay. according to those reference there, right? You see there, right? How I actually shade them up using the same brushes. At the same time, I'm controlling the shadows kind of strokes while I'm drawing here. Can you see? There you go. This is one of the exercise that help you to develop back again your understanding while you draw the subject matters there. Using the imitation of the traditional methods when you draw them. When people draw the eyes, when you draw like this, this is tracing there. Please don't draw like this one there, right? 
Okay, don't trace like that. Okay, when I want to draw, take a look there, right? I'm actually right controlling the pressures when I draw. Okay. Can you see there, right? Yeah. The same methods that I'm going to draw, to use a lot later on for our assignments there. When it comes to draw any subject matters over here. Take a look over here there, okay? If I want to trace, I'm going to draw exactly what I saw only, but right now i'm actually right try to improvise at the same times how actually i'm going to execute this kind of drawing stroke and styles there you see and the results are going to be a little bit more different but they still maintain the proportions they still maintain basically the structures and it will look similar to what you saw from your reference over here. Can you see the record? How actually I control the pressures there. The flow that I'm going to use only 38. I didn't change any kind of capacities on the top menu over here on the brushes. And the most of the important thing is right now, we try to develop basically our understanding all over again how to draw correctly using basically those examples here. even though when i want to draw the, the, the head all right the hairlines over here it's just the size there right please basically use a shortcut key like open and close bracket to increase and decrease the size of your brushes there right okay see there So this one, these kind of strokes, we want to avoid them because there is no quality of line there. All right. We want to create that quality of line while we draw. But not using an effect brushes there, right? See? How you actually write. Make the strokes, okay? Develop the kind of strokes using the right kind of size of the brushes when you draw the right. You see? Okay, how actually I draw this forehead, okay? I'm not going to draw like this. This is tracing there, right? Okay? If I saw this kind of drawing line, I will ask you guys to draw back again. So I'm going to start with this kind of strokes over here, see? To draw the hairline that form naturally the forehead there right shapes okay this is basically what you're supposed to do one of the way how to control the pressures there the quality of line at the same time to work on it you see it will take a lot of time for you to burn up your kind of way of working but this is basically the foundation how to develop any kind of stroke and styles later on. Because when you can improve your kind of drawing skills back again, okay, I'm using multiple size there, right? Guys, can you see basically I'm using a multiple size there to develop the strokes of the hair and the flows itself? Please respond to me, yes or no there, right? Y or N there? In our chat box. Okay, please respond there, right? If you don't respond, basically there, right? I assume that you understand. And I'm demanding basically that you can do more better than what I do right now. All right. So respond there, okay? On whatever question they're actually going to be asked you guys there, right? Because I want to see whether you guys really understand or not how it works. Before we're going to do those things, before we're going to do those kind of what we call the practical sessions later on. Can you see that, right? The imitation of these drawings, of these drawings from traditional methods, we can apply back again by using only one brush, there, right? Either you're going to use Procreate, Photoshop, Clip Studio Paint, 
try to find these pencil brushes there. Dry media pencil brushes there, right? Okay, that's the thing. Okay, good, all right. So, I want to ask Dan Cross. Do you have those tablets with you right now? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, can you share your screen? And I want to see how well you actually have been, you can develop that kind of skill there. It's okay if you make it wrong there, okay? It's okay you make mistakes, okay? Because in order to develop the skills that way, I have to admit, sometimes I did a lot of mistakes. I also did a lot of mistakes. I always put a room for myself when I draw, when I demonstrate, when I teach, you're right? I always put a room of the mistakes there, right? Of mistakes there, right? Because why? Because I want to show my students we are not perfect directly right? in terms of the way that we're going to interpret some of the things there. But I'm not actually choose for to be perfect, but I will applying basically the skill correctly and the quality of those works are going to be presented right okay, according to my kind of observations and my kind of skills there that i provide my kind of concentration and focus there right, okay, which i provide for that kind of particular kind of process of work there right, okay so don't Focus on the perfections all the time. When you think about the perfection that I want to do as perfect that I can. The problem is you don't actually connect it and coordinate your hands correctly with your eyes and your mind when you develop the kind of experience. Okay, because in drawing skills, if you remember the writing, the first thing that you understand, you should know how to coordinate the right. Okay. This is the thing that you have to understand the first before you're going to draw anything in your hands there. All right, the coordinations there, right? All right, between what? Your eyes, your mind, and your hand. Who actually here draw using mouth, leg, ears, nose? Anyone here who have a special abilities there? Using using your legs, using your mouth there, or using your eyes, or you or maybe using your ears there, okay? To draw anyone? Anyone here has that kind of special abilities? Hmm? Anyone have? No, they right. So then, cause you're okay? Please prepare yourself, okay, and share your screen later on. If you don't have that kind of special ability, okay, in illustration, in drawings, and in design, this is three components that you have to understand how actually you can develop your skills. There, you have to know how to coordinate your eyes to see things, to observe, to make some research there, to understand, to develop that kind of understanding, but look at things correctly. And then you can keep that kind of information visually in your mind, right? And you analyze them by using the element and principle of design that you actually have been developed for a few semesters there, right? And from that knowledge and experience there, you are going to transfer those kind of informations using your hands. You guys understand what I mean over here? Yes or no? I have to explain back again the process of developing those ideas and design there. Okay? The coordinations, the connection between your eyes, your mind, and your hands. This is the things that you have been learning and experiencing for the past few semesters. I don't know whether you guys have been explained this kind of methods during the dry media or wet media classes there, okay, or uh, any kind of art, art appreciation kind of subject there, right? But this is the thing that we have developed for so many semesters there, or for me, for so many years. Without that kind of understanding correctly, 
you can answer back again your questions to yourself why you cannot draw well not because this person has skill this person doesn't have a skill there you have been trained to develop that skills formally during the process of learning for the few semesters there right the difference between you and another person that they can draw well because the time and the efforts and how they focus and concentrate with that particular kind of connections there, coordination there. Okay? Do you guys understand what I mean over here? Yes or no? All right, that's the things there, guys, okay? Only 2% of the basically understand, okay? 3% there understand that, right, okay? How about the rest of you guys there? All right, that's the things there, guys, all right, okay? So the coordination between all these three elements will give you that kind of understanding there when you want to draw the right? Not because this person has skill, this person doesn't have the right, okay? You've been trained to develop that kind of skill along the way. But how well, how frequently basically you develop that same skills is depending there, okay? It will show on your results, okay? On your drawing results there, okay? On your output at the same time there, right? That's the things there, guys. This coordination is there, all right? Make sure you coordinate basically that kind of understanding from these three different elements there and practice there, right? And Practice makes a good progress, not perfections there, right? Because I never, never basically focus on those perfections there, right? But I try to focus more on the skill itself. Then, right? Cos, are you ready then? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. Can you share your screen? Thank you very much, then, cost for your contributions there, right? So this week, guys, okay, we only focus on one brushes only, pencil brushes, all right? And using different kind of radius of size, we try to develop the quality of line strokes. And of course, right, okay, the the value of your drawing kind of line there, right? Okay, then, Goss? Oh, you can okay. see my screen, right? Yeah, okay. don't forget to save your file all the time there, right? Okay. okay. I think the site that you use is quite big there, right? Okay, for these brushes over here. Uh, the resolutions. Can you can you actually right check the resolutions? Are you using three hundred or one hundred and fifty DPI there, right? Uh, this is three hundred. Okay, guys. For the exercise, let me repeat back again for you guys. Okay, remind you guys. Try to use hundred and fifty DPI there, please. Why? Because I want to avoid you guys will be lagging during the process of uh, exploring basically these brushes there. Okay? 150 dpi only there, okay? For the resolutions. Okay? Set the size back again there, right? Okay? Uh, change the image size. You can change the image size if you want to, right? 150 dpi. Even though I wrote them, okay? For the exercise, okay? Okay, for weekly exercise. But of course, in my demonstrations, normally in our assignments also, I will use minimum size 150 dpi. Okay, then you can change into a little bit more, less kind of strokes there, okay? Try to draw a stroke first, especially on the eyebrow and eyes there. This is how actually I'm going to test whether the student can draw or not there, right? Okay, zoom in there, right? When you want to draw something. Always, always zoom in there, right? And then try to focus on one area at the same time, right? Okay. 
take a look at how actually then cost actually draw the slope there, right? Why basically you hesitate at then cost? <laughs> try to draw uh, more naturally, right? Okay? When you draw those hairline right here using the strokes. Don't hesitate there, right? Huh? Don't hesitate there, right? Just like you draw uh, using your charcoal and pencils there, right? And try to get the right kind of strokes, quality of line, flows at the same time, okay? When you draw the hairlines, make sure it looks like a hair, it doesn't look like a wire, okay? It doesn't look like any kind of other kind of what we call the elements there, right? Okay? This has to be look soft there, right? It has to be look soft there, right? Try to get a very soft kind of strokes there, right? Okay? Smooth, soft, natural kind of looks there on the hairline there, right? Now, this is how actually we test basically uh, one student drawing there, right? Okay? Whether they have that kind of skill or not, right? Okay? Try to get the right kind of uh, position at the same time there, right? Okay? Let me share the screen over here. Try to continue them right. I want to make some corrections them okay from some of your methods of working over here. That's how actually we can actually write get some interactions there. Right? Try to continue the again cost. Complete this kind of uh not complete the whole thing. I want to see how you draw eyebrows and then hairline, and of course, okay, the eyes itself, how you could develop those drawings on those eyes. Okay, all these kind of major kind of elements really important to see whether the one basically demonstrate for us has the right kind of skills or not. Okay, try to repeat the line there. Okay, when you develop the structures there. Okay, repeat the line there again. Okay? Yeah, slowly develop those kind of strokes, get the feel out of it. Okay, uh, learn not to be hesitate. But precisely, you can actually develop a strong kind of strokes and flows at the same time. Here. Guys, please take notes on it when you draw, when you saw that. Okay? Even though I can't see basically your screen over here, whether you fall asleep, you play games, or you whatever that you want, just focus on your friends' kind of demonstrations right now to see what are the what are the major kind of what we call that the same kind of mistake whether you are going to use uh, work or not, or you can improve from here directly. Right? And by the same time, the rest of you guys, please basically do the same kind of exercise right now. And I want to see that you record the sessions and send it over to our group there. Please record your video sessions. Okay, video sessions over here. Only a few seconds right around three to four seconds there, right, okay? I want to see how actually you develop that kind of strokes only. Can you do it for me right now there, guys? And share the videos inside our WhatsApp groups there. Send it over there, okay, before we complete our classes, right? Can you guys do it for me right now? The rest of you guys over here who have those tablets there, who don't have those tablets, uh, you have to wait there, right? okay? But I have a few solutions also for you. If you don't have those tablets there, I will show you guys this one there. Because we still can actually execute this exercise, but using a minimal kind of access there. Okay? Okay, can you see okay, how actually then cost working with the eye? This is not the right way to draw the eyes there, then cost. But try to draw them, okay, it's okay. Give a minute there, guys, okay? I have to go to the restroom. Anyone want to take five to go ahead, okay? Then cost continue the right.
Okay. How does it feel that in Goss, the Raggy? Can you tell us the Raggy? Can you share with us how it feels? Uh, <coughs> Is it difficult? Uh, a little bit. Why? Is this is it is this your first time basically you using this tablet set to draw? Uh, no, no. Before this, do you have any exercise or, or any kind of record that works that you've been produced before you enter this basically this subject or right, these sessions? Have you done any kind of works using this tablet set before? Uh, no. No. Yeah. 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 I, I feel like, I feel like it's like kind of hard, hard to, to control the pressure. The pressure, right? Yeah. But if you actually hold your tablets, that your pencil and your pen, right? Okay, your tablet pen, right? Okay, just like using those pencils, okay, and then you actually can get that kind of flows back again there. Right? Don't be afraid, right? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just just let it flow naturally, just like when using those tab when using those pencil or charcoal directly and of course okay the drawing kind of methods there okay, the drawing kind of strokes there okay, that you produce uh from these particular exercise directly it will help you to engage that kind of understanding at the same time if you know if you learn about those kind of etching kind of strokes there before using the charcoal and how actually you control the strokes to draw the circles okay the structures there right okay by controlling the pressures, okay, all those kind of things will have that kind of uh, what we call that advantage there, okay? And of course, like right right now, when you want to draw the pupil and also the iris there, okay, using the shades, you have to increase the size a bit, right? And then you can rolling the basically the shadings there, okay, and control and control the pressures there. Don't don't press too much there, okay? Just let it hold and rolling a bit on this and on the stroke itself, there, okay? To get the right kind of shadings there. Try to get that kind of feel there. Don't press too much, but try to roll in basically the shape there, right? Rolling the shape there. Just like you massage your using your fingers, massage there, right? Okay, when you draw it, when you actually write make some some sort of finger massage there, right? Okay, that kind of movements there. Make this kind of circling around the shadings, the shadows there, all right. Uh, just like you're doing the finger massage there, right? Okay? Uh, that kind of movement there, right? Okay? Can help you to give the right kind of tone for the shadows there. Okay. Can you roll in basically the shadings there, right? Uh, rolling a little bit as small rollings there, small circles there, all right? To get that kind of strokes there, right? Yeah. Rolling there, right? Rolling the shades there, right? according to the shadows kind of flows and the shapes at the same time there. Right? That's how actually you can actually give a bit more kind of room for you to add those uh, volume and values of those two. Yeah, that, that's right. Okay, that's kind of thing there, guys, okay? That's how actually you can, can control them. Right? Okay, then, Kos, thank you very much there. Thank you very much for your sharings. All right, I will share my screen back again. Okay, now. Okay, this is basically what Dan Cos actually have been working with. That's not the right. So if you check look closely here, okay. when basically he tried to draw his eyebrow there, okay you saw basically then cause uh have that kind of uh struggling there, okay to control the right kind of pressure there right okay to work on it so let me show you guys a bit over here so just now he, he tried to move his strokes like this one there right like this one there right huh? right Maybe this is what he saw there, okay? When it comes to draw basically the eyebrow there. If I were him there, right? See? Can you see how I move my hands there? 
okay, back and forth and the movements. This movement are going to be back and forth, okay. Sometimes I press a little bit, sometimes I release, okay. I press and I release there, okay. Release or press there, right? The movements, see? Press, release there, right? Press, release there, right? Okay. You guys can see that? Yes or no? Okay, this is how actually I will develop that kind of understanding and strokes there, right? See? To get a more natural kind of feels and smooth, like, and then I will change the size a bit there, right? See? To get a little bit more details according to the shadows kind of line that we can see from those reference. Okay, so the eyebrows, even though you look quite thick, those eyebrows, okay, but you can actually right improve the size there, right? Huh? Improve basically the strokes there okay, by having the right kind of strokes. Okay, back and forth there, right? See? To get more natural kind of looks. Of course, okay, if you have if I have the clear reference. I will go a little bit more further on details there, right? Okay? But this is something that you have to understand at this. All right. And then when when he wants to draw the eyes, okay, take a look, okay. He tried to draw this part there, okay, this eye lip there, please. Yes, I can draw like this one if I want to. Okay. Get a smooth tone of line there. Or I can actually write, draw something like this first there. Okay? I repeat the line there, right? Repeat the line here. See? I repeat the line. At the same time, I try to get the right kind of structures and strokes. You see, to draw the eyes back again. The shapes of human eyes basically have divided into two particular kind of shapes there. Right? See? This is basically the shape of human eyes from the structures itself there, right? You can see the pupil, the iris. And the shapes of this eye will look a bit more like a fish. Most of human eyes there, right? Okay. So remember that, okay? Divide into two different shapes there, right? Okay. One and two. Okay. The shapes of human eyes. So remember that, guys, okay? When you want to draw in human eyes. So from here, I will draw basically those. Okay, the eyes, the pupil are going to be either half, a quarter of those shapes of, uh, from the full size there, okay? This is basically the eyes there, okay? That you can saw from there. So try to study while you draw them. Don't just simply trace or, 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 or follow exactly what you saw, there, okay? Try to study back again the shape there, right? See how I actually draw the, 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 the pupil over here? When I draw the circle, a lot of people draw a circle like this one. But how I actually draw the circles there? Can you see? I try to get the right kind of strokes over here and controlling the pressure at the same time, there, guys. This is how actually you can actually practice your drawing back again. Don't draw the circles like. Don't draw a circle like this. This is a doodle line. Okay. Draw the circles like this one. Right? Even though you want to draw square directly, square directly, the line directly, square. So draw like this one, huh? Come on, there, guys. Okay. A lot of people make mistakes. They draw like this one. I think this is not drawing there, right? This is drawing there. Right? See? Can you see the difference between the movements? The movements when you want to applying drawing, and the movement, the movement yet that you actually try to apply doodles kind of line there. Okay, there's two different kind of techniques there, right? Okay? In order to develop that kind of skills. There. So right now, I know the highlights over here, and I will imitate those highlights also over here sometimes. And I increase the size, and I start to. Can I see how? Can you see how actually I render them up? I'm moving to the circle kind of lows. We add some shadings over here. Now, this is what I want. Then cause basically do just now that right. Okay? See, controlling the shadings directly and the shadows that then cost right, right here. 
even though you can actually add another strokes of etching the writing. For example, adjust the size to add a bit kind of detail there. See? Guys? Okay, right. So in drawings, you need to have a mixture of strokes to give a more values on your drawings. Okay? You need to have the mixtures there, right? Okay? You can actually focus only one particular styles only to draw them there. Okay, from here, okay, if you saw in details, okay, I can actually draw basically some suggestions on those I lash there, right? Okay? On the lid itself, and then I'm going to add some shadings there over here. See? It does a size a little bit to draw some of the shadings there, right? Before we are going to go into more and more details there. Huh? Okay. So I don't know whether basically this kind of methods, this kind of tutorials have been included in any kind of uh, what we call that YouTube channel there. Okay? How to draw properly, how to draw correctly, there are okay? how to move. All right, correctly, okay, when it comes to develop your drawing skill. I don't know that right, okay. But I think one of those demonstrations that I saw from Proco maybe is a bit kind of details there, right? But the rest of it, I don't know, okay. They only want to show off their skills there. I'm not basically had that kind of attention just to show off the skill there. I want to I want to make the students can exactly draw whether they can draw like me or they will draw better than mine there. Right? That's basically my objective. I want to see my students can draw more better than me there, right? That's basically my objective here. There's no point I can draw well, but they cannot actually execute according to what we've learned. Okay? So that's basically my objective there, right? Okay, when I want to teach or apply and sharing my kind of knowledge with my students. Hopefully you guys really appreciate it, right? Okay? If you don't, I can do anything there, right? Okay? So this is the thing there, guys. Okay, this is the thing that we want to apply there, right? Okay? The techniques, the right kind of techniques that works. And make sure you can gain this kind of understanding before you graduate, there, guys. Okay? To get the right kind of qualities when you use those step that. And when you get this kind of understanding, this is when basically you have that kind of what we call that you have basically that kind of precious moment that no one going to have the right okay, if they don't actually understand really well how to work with this kind of skills there how to get a, a, a good potentials by using the tablet itself there, right? so that's basically what we want to achieve demo for group two there right this is group two or group three yeah group two there right Consultation. Okay. Do you guys understood that? Do you understood or not that right? How to get the kind of quality of line there. So then cost, take a look back again. How actually I produce them and try to apply back again. Still have time that move through. They enjoy the process of working. All right, I want to show you guys if you don't have those tablets there, how actually you're going to work with it. Okay, this is some interesting kind of experiment there, right? Okay, okay right now, I'm using my mouse there, right? Okay? Mouse there. To work with it. For the rest of you guys who doesn't have those tablets, I don't know why some of the rest of your friend who doesn't actually have sign or or send it over those assign those exercises. Okay? It's 14 kind of students there, right? or maybe around 12 students there. Right? Okay. So now, guys, if you say you don't have those tablet deck, how actually going to work with it? I'm using mouse right now. Can I draw them? It's not right, right? It's hard basically. Right? 
I want to try by using lasso there, okay? okay can you see, right, how actually I draw using lasso so easy? Lasso tools. It's quite going to be have typical kind of thing, right? Lasso tools, there, right? I'm using lasso tools to, to, to do some selections. At the same time, the feather are going to be 0% only there, okay? Take a look over here. I'm going to use alternate the right to add a bit kind of negative space on the strokes itself. And how actually going to work on it? Using the same brush, if that's a size, can we actually write oops? Hard basically there, right? To work on it. But we using basically like an AI kind of methods, right? Okay? Using AI, like an AI kind of methods that you draw them back. But it's quite, it's, it's possible for us to work with. It's really hard, then, right? Okay, to work with like this one, right? Okay? But we can try them. This is one of my experimentations. Oh. Okay. It's really hard there, right? If I'm going to change the opacities over here, can I create the same thing? Okay. Can I create the right? You can see there, right? It's quite hard. Let me see to work there. But this is one of the techniques also we could apply later on, right? In terms of styles there. In terms of styles there, right? Okay? Because you are basically graphic design students. That's why I, I will basically show you guys. This is one of the techniques which is I'm going to apply, but I'm using the tablet like, later on. Okay. If I want to practice the my digital operation skills, if I don't have that kind of tablets, but I still want to apply the illustrations technique there, right? I will apply this technique again, yeah. okay? When I want to draw, lasso tools. I'm going to draw basically the nose shapes of here. Okay. But try to get the right kind of volume of tone to work on it. You see? The lasso tools over here, right? Draw the shapes of these eyebrows there, right? And make sure when you draw them, the proportion doesn't look weird there, right? Okay. We're still basically applying the right kind of proportions on it and get the right kind of tone at the same time. Okay. Any one of you guys have using AI there before and have this kind of experience to draw the shapes? Or to draw basically those structures. Hmm? Anyone there? So I'm going to use some major details there, right? Okay? Using this kind of shapes only to develop and execute my illustration works there. Can you see? Still look fine there, right? Even though we are working with only shapes there and the brushes at the same time. There. Now, I will draw the shapes of this lips, mouth, there, right? Okay, when you're using these methods, your abilities and your skill as a designer are going to be tested there. Why? 
because you're going to manipulate the shapes. Instead of you drawing according to the strokes there. Right? So by applying the right kind of shapes, using the shadows kind of line and structures at the same time, they will test basically whether you really understand what you are doing right now. Right? To adjust the size. Controlling the shadows. Yeah. See? How it works, there, guys. With the proper kind of methods to control the pressures and the structures at the same time when you develop your digital illustrations over here. Yeah. See? Some major details there, guys, okay, to work on that. How we draw those hairline there, guys, okay? Hairline there, right? I will draw the shadows there. I will create the shapes of the shadows there, please. You see? A bit kind of uh, what we call that is very, a little bit kind of uh, strong, hard kind of shapes that we try to develop right here. Because there's a lot of limitation uh, when we work with this uh, basically using a minimum kind of requirement for our tools there, right? I'm using AR alternate uh, to do some deselections on the areas there, right? Okay. Right, take a look over here. So it requires your creativity at the same time to develop this particular kind of illustration there. A bit kind of creativity, more to creativity there, right? Okay? Not a bit, but more on creativity there. To develop the right kind of methods of working. Now, by using the same brushes, adjust the size a little bit, I reduce the opacities. And then I'm going to start to clean that. So the volume of those shadows and the highlights going to be appears from these selection areas there. That's why you cannot actually just paint like this one there, okay? But slowly paint the volume of tone. Okay? There. Can you see the shapes of it? That's basically those visually, the, the, the ideas of design back again. But I'm not saying it's quite easy there, guys, okay, to work on it. Okay, the hairline over here, the shapes of it. We can use different kind of tools there if you want to there, okay? But one of the things that I want to show you guys right here, how actually you're going to develop your kind of skills of understanding how to work with the tool and your drawings at the same time to work with it. So we improvise the thing that we saw. So applying the right kind of shapes over here. So let's just see if I want to draw basically the shadows line over here. And the shadows kind of shapes over here. There. Not simply just draw them right again. Try to get to look the right kind of structures from here. And of course, they have a different kind of volume of show. Don't just simply just paint there right again without having and the right kind of structures to work on it. Okay, this is only for those who doesn't have a tablet there. Okay? If you want to test, 
your kind of strengths, your kind of understanding, how to work correctly. Okay, using those digital kind of tools there. Right? So what I can do right here, brush. I will adjust the effects piece because I want to make a very light kind of tone there. Okay, from here. So, control D to be selected. So, you can see there, okay, guys, how actually I design back again the shadows and shapes using the same brushes and also lassos at the same time to develop the kind of illustrations. Okay? And of course, using the tablets is more privileged, all right? See the tone that I actually produce using the shapes and shadows there, okay? To work with the kind of drawing. Okay? So we're using shapes instead of line there, right? Okay? For those who doesn't have those tablets that works. Any questions? Hmm? Any questions there? Guys, do you have any questions regarding to our demonstrations over here? All right, if you don't have any questions, okay. Uh, Shin Yu, okay. Okay, Shin Yu? Yes. Can you demonstrate for us, right? What basically you, you understand about it? about these okay. demonstrations over here. Can you demonstrate for me directly, for us also directly, to see how well you understand about it, right? Okay, I'm trying. Okay, good, yeah, thank you very much. Just now we asked basically, Kai, you had directly, to find some photos, or oh, you're using basically those iPad directly. Okay? Hey guys, the rest of you guys, please send it over your videos, demonstrations, on this exercise, a very, uh, what we call that, a very light kind of demonstration. I want to see how you move and draw using those kind of strokes there, okay? Around three seconds only, those videos, okay? Record now and send it over to our groups there, right, okay? Please do it right now, there, right? Before we dismiss, I want to see those kind of videos there. How actually you demonstrate, okay? This is how actually we can interact, there, right? Hey guys, work on it right now. Three seconds videos on your drawing strokes there, right? Okay. All right, do you prepare that just now there, right? Um, can you please share your screen? Share your screen right now, right? Okay? Can you? All right, the rest of you guys, please prepare those videos. I want to see all of you guys are going to be sent over those videos in three seconds only. There, right? Okay. How actually you execute your works? Whether you're going to use mouse or you are going to use what we call that. Tablets that works on it. You choose the right brushes there, Shin Yu. This is not the right brushes there, right? We're using basically, okay, that one there, right? Okay. Using dry media brushes. Dry media brushes there, right? Pencil brushes there, right? Cal ultimate pencil brushes there. Yes. Make sure you're using the right brushes there, guys. Okay, Carl Ultimate Pencil Brushes there, okay? Please write down those brushes there, okay, on your notes there. Right? All right, the resolutions are going to be around 150 dpi there, right, okay? 
you can adjust basically right okay, the size that you use, not the flows there. I didn't change the flow there. Using tablet or using mouse there, right? Let the flows are going to be around 38% in generals. Just now you change the flow there, right? In 25% there, right? Change back again to 38% there, right? All right, zoom in a little bit, all right? Zoom in before you're going to draw there, right? Okay? Don't draw from this, uh, what we call that size there, right? Okay? Radius of size there. And then the size of your brushes should be around 10%, right? Okay? Of pixel, not three, right? Okay? If there's too small there, right? How actually are you going to control using those small there, right? Okay? And then try to draw them back, back and forth. Try to draw the strokes there. Nope. You cannot get the pressures over here. Try to get the pressures right. Try to draw back and forth there. You press too much there, right? Why you draw one single line, okay? You have should you should draw back and forth kind of strokes there, right? Okay? All right, Jin Yu, I want you to test your brushes by signing your name by signing your name, but change into Carl Ultimate Ink brushes. Wet media there, right? Wet media brushes there first. Change into the wet media brushes. Carl Ultimate Ink there, right? Thick and thin. Okay, that one there, okay? Adjust the size, make it small around 10%, all right? Okay, right now there is no pressure point on your brushes there. Do you install the drivers there, Jin Yu? Have you installed the drivers there? No need to stop sharing, lah. I'm using mouse now. Why are you using mouse there? You, you have the tablet or not there, right? Um, I haven't buy pencil. You haven't you haven't buy the tablet now, right? I have iPad Pro. Yeah. You haven't there, right? Yeah. Oh, that, why don't you actually tell me directly about it, Derek? <laughs> hmm. All right. If you don't have those tablets there, you have to change your methods right now. Okay. Okay. Okay, you have to change the methods as I actually have shown you just now that okay? using those lasso tools. And you have to change the flows there, right? Okay? To work on it. And change the opacities at the same time that works on that. Instead of using these um, these quick selection tools, there, okay, I want you to create the shapes by using lasso tools. On top of those uh, quick selection tools, there's a there's a name called lasso tools, there, right? Do you know where is it? Lasso tool, mm -hmm. not that one, there, right? At the menu, there, okay, on the toolbar, not that one, there, right? On top of those toolbar, okay, the toolbar, okay, that's not a toolbar, okay, where basically the toolbar on the left side, left side, there, okay, on top, that's the basically the lasso tools, there, right? Okay, use lasso tools to draw the shapes of your elements. I want to see how well basically you can creatively to draw the shapes that using the mouse there, okay? Are you sure the shapes of those eyebrows like that? <laughs> <laughs> right? All right. So why actually 
as you guys to draw this hard kind of way there, okay? Because I want to see how well you creatively to develop that kind of design works for those. Your group, lah. Group two, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Send it over to group two because we didn't find the group, sir. Say. Who actually create the group for me there? Okay, group two. Class rep. You have created the group for me there, right? Group two. Guys. Have you created a group for me there, right? Group two. No, there, right? I saw basically right now, no group there, right? Class rep, who actually class rep right now? Class rep, please create a group for us there, right? Okay. It's okay, can you add okay? That's why basically we cannot get it, okay? Where were you last week there, right? Okay, create the group right now and send it over your videos, okay? Good there, okay? Good, okay? Can you? Now, if you want to paint using the pencil brushes there, pencil brushes there, right? Not the ink brushes there, my dear. Not ink brushes, pencil brushes there. Change the brushes there first. Dry media brushes there, okay? Can you? Dry media pencil brushes on top of those. Uh, yes, okay. No one basically, right, okay, inform me about the groups here. Okay, dry media brushes. Pencil brushes, they're right. Remember the name there, okay, pencil hard brushes there. Yes. Now change the size of your brushes. Adjust the opacities into 25% or below. Opacity change. First, opacity, they right, okay, on those brushes. Okay, all these kind of methods you have to remember, that, okay, in order to execute your kind of techniques there. Opacity, right? Change the opacity there, right? I need to around 25%. Okay, now I try to paint there, right? Okay, accordingly to those strokes there, right? Okay. Don't be afraid to paint there, right? Okay, according to the shadows and strokes. Don't just paint the whole things in one stroke there. Try to get the right kind of volume of tone. Okay, can you add the right? Okay, don't forget, you are actually the class rep. Please basically create a group right now, the right, okay? Right now, the right, okay? Go from there, the right. All right, send it over to this group there, guys, okay? So thank you, Kayuet, all right, okay, who actually created this group. Now you can send it over your kind of demonstrations right here, okay? okay this is the one that I created just now. Okay, this uh, what we call that samples that I did using mouse drawings there, right? Okay. Okay, this one basically just now that I create. Okay, guys, okay, if we take a look here. All right, thank you, Derakation. You, thank you very much. All right, take a look over here, my kind of screens. All right, guys. Thank you very much, and you there, right? Take a look right here, there, guys. Okay, 
this is the drawing that I made there just now by using tablet planner, right? And when I combine with the shadows and shapes over here, see, and I combine them, right? They can create a different kind of look and feel of these illustrations over here. Can you see that? Okay, the different kind of look and feel there. I combine the shapes and drawings at the same time, right? So this is also one of the styles and techniques that you can apply on digital illustrations. Okay, you can apply in those digital illustrations over here. So that means you can have a mixture of look and feels when it comes to draw this kind of drawing kind of style. Can you see that, right? So I can actually mix them up with guys. So if you seem to have this kind of tablets there right later on, you can get you can actually right get this kind of advantage that they could draw for your illustrations. If you plan basically want to execute the methods, this kind of methods in your final year projects, go ahead there guys. Okay. I would love to see basically you applying what you've learned here right now. Because people who cannot draw well, okay, in traditionally, okay, you guys can actually execute correctly back again in in this method there, okay? Yeah. This is basically some advantage people who actually can execute using this kind of methods there okay in illustration so you can see rolling a little bit there right that's what i said okay skills is important here okay? it's not about the tools only there okay how to use the tool correctly only there right but the skill also really important right now to execute correctly using the right kind of methods there guys i'm giving you guys this this kind of methods there, okay, to make sure that my student can actually apply an illustration style there for, for your works in the future. There, right? So that's why this exercise, even though they give a bit small amount of those marks at the moment, there, right, but they can have a very high impact on your visuals, there, on your skills, there, right? Here. The thing that you're going to execute for your works there. People will find a lot of amazing kind of methods there, right? Okay? If you execute in the correct way. That's why don't take for granted that guys, okay, this method that I actually share with you guys over here. They have a certain kind of value of methods of working there, right? Okay? You can see here, right? The different kind of look and feels of this illustration works in. If you make it correctly, there, okay, when it comes to develop that kind of understanding right here, right now. Okay. If you're using lassos, you can actually execute a bit more details there, right? You can execute a bit more details there on this illustration there, you see. Using lasso there, right? So you have more kind of what we call that advantage for you to do some selections areas correctly. A bit more fastest, right? On the work at the same time there, right? Brush. And then I can actually write paint a little bit there, right? If I want to redesign a bit kind of areas there, okay, for example, there, okay. For example, like this. If I want to redesign my guys, okay. So I get this kind of selections areas over here. 
So this part also there, right? Draw some shapes, shadows there. I want to create some shadows there. Uh, shapes only there first there, right? Not shadows, shapes only. You draw the shapes there first there, right? So this part basically is a high light there again. That's why I'm, I'm controlling and selecting some of the areas and deselect some of the areas to create this kind of high light there. Right? So the good thing about digital illustration there, I want to show you guys a bit kind of recall that other kind of things that we can create for our exercise over here. Okay. So let this say I have executed. The, 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 what we call that the illustration styles over here it to complete those kind of illustrations there right so what i can do from here there, guys okay, if i want to design certain kind of styles there for my presentations there right okay for my presentations over here i can use an effect brushes there guys okay you okay, see how actually i developed the hairline there right redesign them back there right redesign them right so i can use basically an effect brushes there okay what kind of effect brushes that i'm talking about right now okay i can use this uh special effect brushes which is you guys can execute later on okay this effect brushes over here uh where basically here right with these brushes there right I used to have a lot of brushes than before. Let me do this. Okay, for example, like this one there, right? normal and I paint but this effect process will take some time there okay to execute here there okay let me check back again okay because I have lost some of the brushes that are actually supposed to use here This is not the one that I'm going to use. But if I want to experiment them, okay, go ahead there, right? Ah, okay. So just experiment there, guys, okay? Yeah, like a screen tone kind of effect there, see? Can I get different kind of look and feel there? Oh yeah, yeah. It's some of tone that we're here, right? I want to make it a bit more smoother there. Yeah. See? Control B. Okay, take a look at the guys, okay? Can you see the different kind of style that, that I've been approaching with you? Mix two around there, okay? And from here, I can actually write execute more and more and more further right here on the checklist at the same time. Right here, see? Shadows a bit like a screen tone kind of effect there. Okay. So the styles of illustrations become a bit more like texturing, okay, the element right here. What basically I produce right now, guys, okay, if you take a look here, right? I'm producing the element of styles there, okay, on this illustration there. I'm using the element of design to combine them with my structures at the same time by not just doing a conventional kind of look and feel of these illustrations there. But I mixed it with the, the techniques at the same time to design a portrait there, right? Okay. So this is basically what I want you guys to open up your mind there, okay? It doesn't have to be they're going to be all the time they're going to use only a particular styles or method that actually have a conventional kind of look and feel only there, right? Okay? 
you guys can actually execute correctly in different kind of way to approach your design or illustrations kind of ways. Cut and paste. Put right here. Okay. Take a look back again. If I'm going to use, for example, different kind of background there, right? Okay. Yeah. You can see right here how I actually execute those kind of design styles, okay, on these particular illustrations. Yeah. See? But mixed it around with the different kind of methods and techniques, right? No pixels over here, I can do it. Okay. All right, guys. So different kind of methods that you work here. So open up your mind to have different kind of options at the same time. So develop one kind of skill set. So they're going to be interesting, guys. If you're really exploring some of the methods by using any possible techniques that you can find quite interesting for your work here. I have some of the brushes before this, guys. Okay, uh, like drip and splat brushes. There, right? Okay? Let me check back again. Normally, we have to restore the frog brushes. Maybe there, okay? Import the brushes back again. Uh, paint and stack brushes over here. Okay, this is the one that, guys, that I want to show you just now. There, right? so take a look back again. These brushes over here. Okay, let me experiment with you guys there, right? Okay, okay this kind of group and stack brushes there, see? Okay, this kind of effect brushes over here. Paint over here. Can I get these facts there, right? No. Oh, the flow is too, not too strong there. See? Okay, this effect brushes there, guys. Okay. If you use correctly these brushes, they give, they give a lot of good impact already right? okay. on your visuals. There. They give a very good impact on this math of this uh, quality of those brushes over here. Okay, check look back again. As you see, I'm using a different kind of layers. Set the size a bit. So this is what we can do with our, our illustrations a lot, there, guys. Okay. If you can find the right kind of way of approaching back again your illustration styles, there. Okay, like this one, there, right? So I'm applying different kind of opacity, adjust the opacities there all the time that you work on it. That's it. If, if using basically the correct kind of style, well, okay, the correct kind of uh, brushes that it works on it. This is how basically I, I using basically my kind of advantage of my drawing skills and illustration skills there to develop the styles of illustration by using this kind of method. Okay, guys, quite interesting there, right? Okay, how actually you can execute one illustrations 
but not entirely just using the traditional kind of way, but you applying basically back again some of the traditional methods in those digital kind of skills there, right? Okay. That's basically the main objective why we're here. I believe in that. Because I want you guys to get that kind of skills there. This kind of skills there to execute for your illustration, for your what we you call that, for your final year project there, okay? Hopefully there, right? Okay, that's kind of things there. So if I want to add some highlight, but by using this drip and spread kind of techniques, I can actually use them as, as well. Right? Okay. To highlight a little bit there, right? Okay. Any questions? Any kind of inquiries? Any kind of obligations or objections there, right? Guys, what say you there, right? Thank you very much, Rocky. Uh, can you add, Rocky, for creating basically uh, those group for us? And hopefully, you guys can learn something new from here, there, right? Okay? So it's quite very interesting, the guys, okay, to have this kind of brushes there. I download these brushes. This is a paint splash brushes tool, there, right? Okay? I'll get this brush basically from, uh, let's just say you're using basically uh, Photoshop 2020 directly. You can basically download these brushes. For example, over here, because I want to find some options for the students that get to work on that. Um, a pain, drip, and splash, and splash directly. Brushes, okay, for Photoshop, free download there, right? Okay, check back again with brushes over here. If you guys can get it right, and then download them, right? If you have that kind of things, right? This kind of things, right? This is quite interesting kind of brushes there, okay? I don't know whether it's right or not, okay, but you guys can check back again, right? And then you install or you you paste these brushes uh, inside your preset uh, what we call the folders there. Okay. Normally we can get like for example there right okay? I install basically these uh, brushes. Photoshop Seven that I use this now right okay? Okay, preset, brushes, so I paste inside right here, there, okay, those brushes there. Okay, this one is Photoshop 7 there, okay. I have another Photoshop that I use there. Right? Right, see. So the methods is the same there. Okay, it's almost the same there, right, okay, it works on that. All right. So any questions there, guys? Any guys, any kind of inquiries? If you don't have the right thing, so this week, please submit this exercise there, okay? So next week, we're going to do another exercise using those kind of environment or nature's kind of drawing there, okay? So hopefully you guys can gain something from here, okay? In a part of develop the kind of skills. Okay, to develop that kind of stroke and styles and illustrations kind of works at the same time there, guys, okay? So make sure you're exploring those kind of tools there, okay, in order to execute these illustrations there, okay? So enjoying the process of working and hopefully you guys will gain some experience from here. And thank you very much for having me today. And thank you also for your times. And take okay, care, you guys, okay? And try to basically exploring more of okay, it on these brushes at the same time that you run the okay? And then paste into your Photoshop. Right? So good luck, all the best. Thank you very much. Have a nice day and have a good weekend at the same time. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Welcome there, okay?